It's time for some more free stuff. They're meant to drop one of those SDX Sims Delivery Express thingies today. So naturally, we're gonna check it out. We've been expecting this one for a few weeks now, and you know what? I feel like in the future, we probably won't hear about these free content drops, like, far in advance at all. Honestly, might just drop it that day and be like, hey, here you go. But because these are the first two we knew about last week's and this week's, like, way in advance, I'm not complaining. I gladly accept this gift. Thank you, Sims team. The game is opening. I am ready. Let's check it out. My headphones are so tangled. Oh my god. Try again, try again, try again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it should just pop up on the main menu. It did last time, but this is new, so I still don't know what to expect. Hello? Hmm. <laughs> I don't see it. <gasps> it's not coming out today! Soul Soul Simmers, Father Winter seems to be stuck in a chimney, so the Sims Delivery Express he's delivering with the new holiday items will now be available tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Well, I rushed home from the post office for this! Okay, you know, if I had simply checked Twitter at 1 p.m. at the post office, I would have known. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll be, um, continuing this video tomorrow. All right, we're back again. This time, it better actually come out. They've pushed this drop, like, twice now, but hopefully, in two minutes, it will actually come out. I'm, like, counting down the seconds until the clock strikes one. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, because it's just, like, a tiny little update, but I want that fireplace thing so bad. I've been thinking about it for, like, three weeks. Oh, it's one o'clock. If I check Twitter again and I find out they pushed it again, I'm not gonna be pleased. Hmm. <laughs> Um, it appears there is nothing. Right. I mean, I guess I did open my game at like exactly one. Oh, Father Winter has arrived with presents. They tweeted saying it's out, so come on, <laughs> go. Last time I just opened the game and it started downloading and it was like, ooh, you have a Sims delivery, but this time nothing's happening. So is it even out? I don't know. Check for new content. Oh, <gasps> okay, it worked, Never mind. To use, restart The Sims 4, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Download complete. Oh, well, okay, sorry. False alarm, I'm restarting The Sims 4, hopefully it'll work this time. Anyway, so if you didn't know, this Sims Delivery Express thing is this whole new system they made to drop free content more frequently, so they can give us, like, small free content drops like last week's hairstyle or this week's six or so items and just throw them out there right away and then it just comes into the game. I think they can do, like, more emergency fast bug fixes as well for, like, small bugs this way too. It's only the second one, so I also have questions. I don't know what to expect. I'm just excited for more free content. Like, I'm not complaining. I, I will take this. One thing, though, is that, uh, they didn't mark any of the stuff as new last time and I don't think they will this time either. Yeah, so we have to find it somehow. I don't think it's gonna be as part of the holiday pack. I think it's just in the base game. So if I look at this holiday stuff, I don't think it'll show up. Yeah, no. So we know there's supposed to be a couple wall decorations. Oh, apron on the wall. 145 simoleons. Apron, apron on the wall. Who's the best sim cook of them all? Oh my god. You know what? They do always kind of kill it with the item descriptions, I must admit. Okay, so this has a- oh, more swatches than I was expecting too. So there's like some pretty normal looking ones. <gasps> oh, cute! Oh my god, look at the little- Oh. Okay, these are actually really cute. And they have some fun, like, kind of festive ones as well. This is cool because you could, like, switch this out for every season in your game. You could be like, oh, it's spring. Oh, it's Christmas. Summer. You know, you could just keep, like, switching between them. I, I like this. I'm always into this kind of, like, little decorative thing. We also got this big bow for the wall. 70 simoleons. Tis the big bow season. That also has loads of swatches. I feel like there's probably a lot of room to mess with this in some interesting ways. Like, you could probably use this to make stuff. Like, if you size it up, I wonder, like, uh, maybe it's a grand opening of your Sims store. I don't know. Okay, I think the rest should be in clutter. Yeah, we have a, a bow for the table as well. Probably with the same swatches, yeah. Bow, bow, bow. I'm into it. I wasn't expecting to ever get an item like this. Like, I wouldn't say that I had giant bow on my list of requests for The Sims 4, but, like, I'm not mad about it. And then maybe in the kitchen section we'll get the rest. Ooh, holiday a fruitcake. Wait, oh, is it not like a recipe? I thought that your sims were gonna cook that. I didn't expect it should just be like in the- oh, okay. It's an object. I thought it was gonna like literally be a recipe. We also have this cake with style. I love this. I'm- I'm gonna use this a lot probably on my sims counters. Just like a- a cake holder with a- a loaf in it. We also have this new fire tools thing. This I was most excited about. We don't have this in the sims 4. We don't have anything like this yet and I feel like I've been wanting this for ages and I'm gonna use this all the 
the time in like so many of my builds. So this one I'm pretty pumped about. And I think they added a salt and pepper shaker too, but I don't see it. No? Well then what's that? Oh, it's right there. It's literally right there. Okay. Shake your holiday shakers. Season the holiday season with some seasoned seasoning, it says. Okay, that's real small, but if you look up close, it's got a few swatches. We don't really have anything like this. We do have one. Like, remember that one I just showed that came with the cool kitchen stuff pack? Those are also enormous compared to these. Wait, I didn't even think about that. Those are huge. These are tiny. I feel like this is probably a better scale. I, I think this is useful. I'm probably gonna put that places. How much did that cost? 35. Okay, is it in the kitchen section? No, it's not tagged as miscellaneous decorations in the kitchen section. <laughs> there's so much stuff that's not. Like, there's a bunch of items. Like, you see this in the base game. There's a couple more of these that are also improperly tagged. Like, you can see them in the clutter section. We have, like, this one. We have this one. We have this one. But they don't show up when you're in the kitchen section. So you may, like, never use them because they're harder to get to. So it's kind of annoying they didn't tag it right. Maybe they'll fix it. Probably not. Okay, so that leaves two things. That leaves the eggnog, and then I assume this is an actual recipe. I thought that this was gonna be a recipe too your Sims could cook, but maybe just this one is? I guess another small criticism is that it's really annoying that there is no like in-game descriptor of what those items are. Like it popped up saying I had a Sims delivery, but it never said what the Sims delivery was. I only knew because I've been following them on Twitter and like I saw the live stream about it. And then even then it didn't tell me the item names or like, <laughs> even what the recipe is, like I still don't know that. Who knows what like cooking skill level you need to have in order to access this stuff, I, I don't know. I think I'll just quickly max Bella's cooking skill with a mod so we can hopefully scroll through and see everything. Okay, be on the lookout for new item. I don't even know if I'd recognize it, to be honest with you. Oh, got it. It didn't take that much scrolling, it was right there at the top. Do you know what, I'm really impressed. There's like a whole description. The other recipes don't have that, you can see when you scroll past them. Talking about the origins of the word and explaining like the importance of this dish to Venezuelan families. And I, this is really cool. I love this. The best halakas are the ones that mom makes. I think the Sims did a good job with this. I think it's kind of fun to get like a random recipe too. Cause I feel like you don't really expect to get extra recipes in your game and an update. Like it just, it seems like a fun bonus. Don't call me. Your boss is calling. I'm busy. I'm cooking. Stop distracting me Mortimer. I'm busy. Hey, look at that. Grab a serving. Not the welcome wagon. Not the welcome wagon. Not the scholarships. <laughs> I'm really excited. This is pretty cool. Okay, wait, we have one more thing. We should have eggnog as well. I assume that you can make the eggnog with the bar. And well, I also assume that it's eggnog. <laughs> it doesn't say on the picture, so. Do I need like a mixology skill or what? If only they told me in game how to access this stuff. Oh, okay. I'll just max Bella's mixology skill too with MC Command Center. Can you not make it? I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, no, wait, it's right there. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. It's literally right here in front of me. I was like, I scrolled right past it. I think I didn't expect it to be at the top. So I just like insta scrolled to the bottom and then it was right there the whole time. Coquito is a traditional Christmas holiday drink from Puerto Rico. And some say it can be called the Puerto Rican eggnog. Fun. Okay, Bella, you gotta get a move on. Oh my God, what are you wearing? Are you making another drink? Calm down, I'm trying to look at this one. <laughs> one step at a time. That looks really good. Got the cinnamon stick and everything. I mean, look, food in the Sims always looks a little bit ugly. It's it's not exactly the most like high quality <laughs> item. You know what I mean? Like it's not HD, okay? I'm not complaining though. She went back to her dinner as well. Look at that. You know what? I never use drinks in The Sims. I like never have a bar at my Sims house. I, I very rarely mess with this stuff. Maybe I should try it more. That's part of why I didn't notice it either because <laughs> I never use the mixology scale. I don't even know what we already have. You could have told me five of those things were new. And I'd be like, oh my God, yeah. But you know what? I'm impressed. I feel like, let's talk about this. I don't anticipate future drops to be this big. It's so confusing because we've had two of these drops now. One that was just one hairstyle and now this one that was like actually quite a few items. If you forgot, this is that full selection of items we got. Nine things, two of which are recipes. It's kind of a fun combo of like build stuff and some gameplay. I feel like this isn't a huge update by any means, but I feel like in the future they probably won't drop this many things at once. And I also feel like we probably won't get this much warning. Like I think it was kind of odd that we got like a few weeks notice about this drop. I think I think that was unintentional because they had to push it twice and like all of
all of this. It seems like a fluke for the first one. It's also the holidays, so like, this is probably the last update of the year, so I guess it makes sense that this one is bigger. I'm really curious to see, one, when the next drop will be, and two, what it will be. Because I wouldn't be surprised if it was just like one hair again. Obviously, I'd like to see more, but I'm really unsure of what like, <laughs> the frequency or scale of these will be in the future. Just because it's so new, it's hard to tell. And I will say, I really hope that the future ones, they make it more clear what's new. Because I was like, hunting for the new things. I feel like with the pop-up, there should be like, new content downloaded and it should show you what it is. Kind of like when you get a new pack and it pops up and it's like, new pack installed! And it has like, a screenshot and a little description. I would like to see a screenshot and a little description of these items. Or like, a list or, or something, because it didn't even tell me where to look. Like, I knew that the last one was cast and this one was build stuff, but it doesn't even say that. So like, if you downloaded the Sims patch and you saw like, new content installed but you hadn't seen this, you would have no idea where to look. You probably would never even know they had a recipe and a drink, like, because why would you assume that, right? I just, I, I wish it was more clear what they added. Like, I'm feeling like it's my job to tell you what they added, when in reality it should just be there in the game, they should just show you. But anyway, I like these things, I'm gonna use them a lot, like honestly that, that fire tool set in every build probably from now on when I put a fireplace. And the aprons are just fun, like, I just, I think it's cute. These are really nice, like, basic decorations that are gonna get added into my builds often. Maybe not the bows, but the rest of it, a lot. Okay, now everybody cross your fingers and hope that we get some more of these drops soon, because it would be a real shame if they made this whole thing and then like, we didn't get anything for two months or something. I, I don't really think we'll get anything until at least January though. I mean, now it's it's mid-December, they're probably gonna be off for the holidays, like I just, I don't expect things in the next two weeks, but maybe in three weeks. I would like that, although I, I am preparing myself for disappointment. Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of things do you think we'll see in future patches or SDX drops? I think the recipe thing is really interesting and I think we'll probably get more like that. It's a fun way to drop like, here's one traditional holiday food, here's one drink, like really fast, just an extra little thing. This seems like a good method to do that, but I, I guess we'll see. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I wonder what went wrong and made them have to push it twice. It's probably like a back end of the system and not like the items, because the system itself is so new, but I'm kind of curious what went wrong.